There's a lot of very, very, very smart people in this competition, but just as smart alone doesn't take you to where you need to be. I'm ready to perform user input. You have seven minutes left, people. Bias removal. And check the USB cap. Check. We're ready. This competition is important because we want to learn as much about celestial bodies as possible. And as of right now, NASA really doesn't have a good way of getting space matter back to Earth. Our competition is to basically collect samples in a simulated um, space environment that is fully autonomous. We have to build a mechanical being that can think on its own. This project involves mechanical, electrical, programming, computer vision, navigation, a lot of different things. So I'm so glad there are students in each category. They take leadership in that area and they are creative and they can do their job right and still work as a team and eventually we can pull this off. That's probably like our greatest strength is actually how we work together as a team. Because if any one member was gone, we were, we'd, we'd be in trouble. This challenge is very, very difficult. Initializing. So we designed pretty much everything ourselves. Traveling way collecting. Electronics, the mechanical platform, all of the software was all student designed and built. The West Virginia team was amazing to watch. It just warmed my soul to see the teamwork that I saw experienced the entire uh, three or four days they've been here. They performed marvelously. The robot has, not only is it a great design, but more importantly, I think the team has excellent leadership and great camaraderie. It went phenomenally. The robot did everything we expected it to. Uh, we didn't get as many samples as we would like, but we got as many as we anticipated. From the NASA perspective, we are ecstatic that we got um, a team that was able to win a big amount of money, you know, $100,000, it's, it's a substantial amount. And it is the first time that we're awarding this, so we're super happy to be able to do that because the team stepped up to the challenge. 61, 62, 62, 64, 65, 65. We've been working on this project very hard for two years, and we have a really strong team, a lot of dedicated students, and very talented. The main motivation for us to be here is to challenge ourselves. We don't just study books, we don't just uh, sit there and program, we fail. And then we fail again, and eventually we'll figure it out. It was not unexpected for me to see them achieve level uh, two success. I'm, I'm very pleased and I think it's incredibly well deserved. <laughs>